Let's talk about digestive enzymes. Should you take digestive enzymes? Well, let's review the basics. When you eat food, the food travels down into the esophagus and into the stomach. In the stomach, the food mixes with pepsin and acid. Pepsin plays a very, very weak role in the process of digestion. And actually, the stomach plays a very, very insignificant role in the process of digestion. Most of digestion and absorption of nutrients happens in the small bowel, not in the stomach. The stomach is a reservoir, and it slowly sends out its contents into the duodenum for digestion. So here's the important part. When the uh, food comes down into the duodenum, the main organ of digestion gets um, activated. And that's the pancreas. So let's enlarge this area. Take a look here. The pancreas is sitting right there by the duodenum and it gets activated and it starts producing all kinds of digestive enzymes and hormones. One of the hormones it produces is insulin, which everyone knows about, but also equally important, it produces digestive enzymes. Like what? Well, here's a list. The names are actually insignificant, but it produces lipase, amylase, elastase, trypsin, chymotrypsin, nuclease, and phospholipids. All of these enzymes play a very, very important role in breaking down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats into smaller subunits so the bowel, the small bowel, can absorb these nutrients. So remember, the small bowel does 99% of the digestive process and absorption process. Okay, so in a normally functioning pancreas, if you're doing well and you're healthy, the pancreas does its job. It produces all kinds of digestive enzymes into the duodenum where normal digestion occurs and you absorb all the nutrients. No problem. In certain patients with diabetes or problems with the pancreas, there is an adequate amount of enzymes. So then these patients happen to have diarrhea and actually fatty diarrhea where they see oil drops in the stool or in the toilet bowl. In those individuals, it's totally fair to take these enzymes, prescription dose enzymes. If you look at the prescription dose enzymes, there is lipase, protease, and amylase at very, very high units. Some of the over-the-counter digestive enzymes, however, have very, very little amounts of this. So I wonder if they're even working. So if you really have a true problem with your pancreas, you have fatty diarrhea, and you don't think you're doing a good job digesting on your own, by all means, take enzymes, but at least take the prescription dose. If you don't think you have any problems with your pancreas and all of your organs are working and functioning like they should, I really don't see a point of taking digestive enzymes. Thank you.